All right, toolsinaction.com. Today we're going over the Boss Ditch 18 volt drill driver combo that is $189 available at Walmart. There's 50,000 Walmarts in the United States. There's one on every street corner, so you can get it there. I think there's 60,000. Huh? 60,000 Walmarts. Is there really? No, no I was just I, kidding. I don't, I don't know. know how many Walmarts there are. I have are. no idea. Uh, basically, you might, may or may not have seen our reciprocating saw video that may or may not have gone up before this, uh, but if you did or did it, doesn't really mean anything because you're going to listen now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, basically, Bostitch, kind of known in the uh, construct. What's, what's Bostitch known for, Eric? Being in Walmart. No, come on. What's Bostitch known for? Apart from being in Walmart now. No, I think the compressors and the nailers. Compressors and nailers. Professional tool line. Basically, Stanley Black & Decker has kind of uh, doled them down a little bit, kind of taking all the features out of them, and they're kind of just gearing that niche for the... Uh, I mean, I don't want to say a contractor because I honestly don't think a contractor is going to go to Walmart and buy this for $189. Why? Um, only because th that's all there is for this lineup right now is this and this. You know, contractors are using circular saws. They're using cordless. So they don't have the circular saws or okay, so Not yet. They, okay. Not yet. They all might. Right. They might. Don't get me well, wrong. Well, maybe by the time this video is out. <laughs> no. No. You're going to get up that quick? Yeah, this okay. thing will be up real soon. Right. Um, but I just don't think a contractor is going to, you know, this is for the guy that's the do-it-yourselfer that maybe, uh, you know, wants to think he's a contractor and do little odd jobs for people. Don't get me wrong. I mean, so there's a lot like of... someone like me. Someone like me. No. Uh, basically, I would say it comp keep, competes against the cobalt stuff. Maybe rigid. I mean, rigid. The X4 line is pretty good, and I yeah, think it's better than this. Yeah, yeah. Big, big forget line. that rigid. But I mean, Cobalt, the Craftsman C3. Is it C3 or C4? You know, I don't even know what it is. Now. Yeah, I don't know, Craftsman. They got so much. Um, but basically, it's going to compete in that lineup. So I'm not going to say, you know, Joe Blows Contracting Service is not going to go out and run. Well, buy I don't a think I'd hire that guy. Why? <laughs> Joe Blows. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're not going to go out and buy a bunch of Boston stuff, but. Uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'd still get their nail and stuff like that, but no, you're right. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's just if there's not a big line to it, you know, you can't get yeah, the circular I mean, saw, you can't get the circular saw. That's the thing. I mean, there's no battery status fuel gauges on the pack, so you really don't know where you're at. Charging time, I mean, I let the thing go for like 45 minutes and it still wasn't charged, so it, it's got this a little slow charging time to it. Uh, the 18 volt batteries, LED light is pretty much all you're going to get on this. Mm -hmm. uh, the clutch is pretty much all in one, driver mode, and then you have your 22 clutch settings. Two speeds right on the top. It does, however, have a metal chuck, and I thought the chuck was pretty good, pretty uh, stable. You know, I, I like the chuck. I didn't like how it didn't ratchet, though. Yeah. When you just yeah. turn it, you just turn it. It doesn't ratchet tight. It just, mm -hmm. it gets tight, don't get me wrong. It's just, it, you don't have that tactile feel in there, which I feel is a little odd. But other than that, I mean, for $189, you're going to get... The impact, the drill, two batteries, a charger, and a case. Yeah. So uh, it fits pretty tight in there inside the case. You can throw some accessories in the in the side. Um, I don't know, Eric. What do you think about it? You know, they're not bad. Like again, I think you're right though in terms of the contractor not really using them. It's good for the homeowner. You're gonna get. Uh, I mean. They're not the most powerful stuff we've tested, but they're not the weakest things we've tested. They've got a pretty good balance and feel to them. They've got the kind of. I mean, are those two O batteries or what are those? Um, I don't know, Eric. You know, I'm a little disappointed. I would like to see a fuel gauge on them. That, that's kind of helpful, especially nowadays. It seems like everybody does have one. Yeah, it doesn't say what amp power. I would assume they're, they're 1.5 or 2s. Well, obviously. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, it's not the most compact drill out there or anything like that. It just depends. I mean, it's hard for us to really, because I'm kind of lost at where this is trying to be in the market when I really shouldn't be because there isn't, it's supposed to be right between, right below pro and right above homeowner. It's like that. That's middle. what I've always kind of, yeah, thought, but when they're throwing it, in, for me, when they're throwing it in Walmart, that's a little bit, I don't know, I think almost what they're doing, and I'm probably totally wrong, but a lot of people look at this company as a kind of pro contractor, because you see the compressors all over the place, you see those in job sites, you see the nailers all over the, the place. Now a guy, maybe a homeowner, can look at it and go, hey, those are quality tools, I'm going to get them, why is that Walmart right. or something? But I think, you know, Walmart does have a stigma with it, where, you know, it's Walmart. I mean, don't get me wrong, Walmart's great, I shop there once yeah. in a while, yeah. you know, when I wear gloves. <laughs> no, I, you know what, I shop no. at Walmart too, but it's still, I mean... But if this was in Home Depot versus 
Walmart, I think it would get a better reception and I think it would get more, it would, it would make the pro feel more comfortable about possibly purchasing it. Yeah. You know? But maybe that's just not their market. Maybe they're just don't even, they're just, this cordless line is really good towards the homeowner. That's why they throw it in Walmart. The homeowner that like thinks he's Mr. Do It All. I mean, don't get me wrong. You get your dad this for Christmas. He's gonna. He's probably gonna love it. Unless he's a hardcore contractor into Milwaukee, to walk something like Dude, that. I would still use these. They're really nice. They're they're good. Yeah. yeah. You know, the bottom line is they're gonna get done what you need to get done uh, at a reasonable price. Yeah, they're rugged. They get the job done. Variable speed trigger. Light on the front. What kind of stats we got, Eric? Oh man, I don't know. You got the box. Let's see. For speed for the drill is zero to three fifty and zero to fifteen hundred, four hundred eighty inch pounds of torque. Yeah, that's all right. It's not the greatest, but I mean that's yeah. on par with like the cobalts. Yeah, that's true. I think the cobalt's right around there. So. Yeah, but again, yeah, like with the fuel, what is that seven fifty? So yeah, it's fuel seven fifty. So you're, I mean, it's almost almost double the power. Yeah, and but like you're I said, be that's more, more price. Though. Yeah, you're, you're gonna paying be paying more. Couple hundred dollars more. But you can from one eighty nine. I think you can get yourself into a nice twenty volt kit from Dewalt for two fifty on sale. Can you? Maybe I know that we just did those Hitachis. Those are two ninety nine, and those are like this, but brushless. I wouldn't pay that extra hundred bucks just for the brushless. Feature. No, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, I like the grip. The grip's comfortable, and you know, if you're a Bostitch fan, you can't go wrong. And the three year warranty. So they're really, really, what does it matter what it costs? You know, you're getting a good deal. One eighty nine. You're gonna buy it. For three years, you got yourself a reliable drill and impact. True. If Very anything good. goes yeah, wrong point. with it. Good point. Right. So that being said, we're going to give this one away. And uh, we're going to give it away to someone that's kind of been on our channel for a long time commenting. And it's a female, and we really haven't uh, given her anything before, and I wanted to today. Uh, gorgeous Bronze. You know who you are. We appreciate you supporting us. You leave us a lot of great comments. So we're going to go ahead and send this Boss Stitch kit out to you, which would be perfect for her because she does actually, sh she has her own channel. Yes, yeah, yep. And she actually built like a makeup box or something. So, I mean, she uses yeah, this tool. She, exactly. So this might be great for her, you know? I mean, she's not going to want more than this. No, I mean, she said, I don't think she's going to be out building houses and stuff like that. Well, you never you know. know. She, I mean, she could be. <laughs> That'd be funny if she started on yes. YouTube. <laughs> she we should build a house in the Boston. <laughs> we were like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. No. All right, so Gorgeous Bronze, thank you. We love you. Thank you for supporting us. Yep. And uh, Tools in Action, Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway is coming up real soon. Um, uh, I can't even think of what we got in it. Tons of stuff. We got there. a lot of stuff. We got the Milwaukee heated jacket. We got a Werner ladder. We got a roll air compressor. Um... Uh, do want multi, -tool. multi -tool. Thank you to Acme Tools. We have yep. a um, Works Jaw Saw. We have yeah. a um, Johnson Laser Distance Measure. Yeah. We have a Milwaukee Heated Jacket, like Eric said. But that's about it. So, anyways, back to the kit. Uh, you're not gonna go wrong for $180 at Walmart with this kit. No, you're really not. You know. I, you know but I don't think the like I said, I don't think the contractor is gonna go out and buy. If the, if you're building a skyscraper in downtown Chicago and your drill breaks, no contractor is gonna go to Walmart and pick this up. Well, unless he's got one screw left and then Walmart's only place open. He's like, I gotta get this last screw in to hold this building. I don't up. think so, Eric. Yeah. I don't think so. I think he'll call up his buddy first. Only that's because true. there's just not that much more in the lineup yet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there, there could be. You know, there could be. I mean, I would compare this, like I said, to cobalt. Uh, maybe Porter Cable. I don't know, man. Porter Cable's getting weird lately, too. It's getting different. I would probably put it up against uh, Cobalt. But again, Cobalt's got and more on their line. And Craftsman. Yeah. 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 And you know, to be honest with you, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's not bad, you know? It's a good, rugged drill. It's going to get the job done. No thrills, though. No thrills. Check it out. Toolsnaction.com.